got a beautiful sky that is this morning. So it's eight o'clock. I'm back up at Harwood Forest sitting in the car. And um, I'm just waiting for me mucker Rooney to tip up. Hopefully it should only be about another half an hour. So I think I might get me drawn out and have a little play with it. See what I can get recorded on it. Um, seems to be my favorite toy at the minute. So anyway, reason why I'm here. Um, just up for a day visit. Uh, have a nice bimble up to camp with a bergen on, carrying some bits and pieces up there. I've got a new tarp to put up on the roof of the shelter. Hopefully get that all finished off today. Um, just process a bit of firewood ready for my next visit. Uh, and just basically check on camp, make sure that it's okay, because it's been a few weeks since we've been there, because we've been doing other different types of things. And um, get ready for a camp, hopefully, round about the end of the month so it's um yeah it's nice and peaceful up here and it's a bit nippy like i think it's it's four degrees so it's the temperatures are definitely falling up here like but in any way enough of me waffle um i'll speak years later on when we get back to camp or if anything exciting's on the way all right so, stay tuned, see you later. Right, well, Rooney's here. So, we're off skis up into the woods. So, I've got a, a bit of a yomp ahead of her. It's absolutely Baltic in here, like, absolutely free, oh, pardon me, absolutely freezing, like, I've had to put my gloves on. Oh, but there's definitely a change in the weather. Oh, but I'm going up a different type of path. Sorry, a different type of path, a um, different way up this time, you know, because variety is the spice of life. Oh, especially when you're eating pot noodles. Especially when you're eating pot noodles, you cracker. Aye, so, obviously you can tell it's been raining because it's, it's a bit clotty. But now you're I'm not going to waffle all the way up to camp because it'll be a very long video. So I'll just see you when we get there. And uh, hopefully everything's all right. Right, well, that's us into the woods now. Uh, last time up here, I put a few bits of cam net on the shelter and it's working a treat like I can hardly see it at all. So, happy days like. Oh, there she is. There's camp. Looking the same way as we left it. So that's good news. There's my seat, fire pit. Yeah. Stack of wood, be saturated that like. And there was a bit of cam net hanging up. And my bag over water and that's still there. So happy days like. Rooney's heading off over to Hayes area. Rooney's got a little bit of a uh, practice on a little setup that he wants to do. I'm going to uh, get this burger off, get me pad out, sit on that chair for a bit, get myself sorted. Uh, start to get a bit of a sweat on now, like that last part of the walk in's a killer. But I've got a canny weight on me back again still. Still got about 20 kilos, 25 kilos, as I brought a few bits and pieces in, like some cans and water and things for my next camp, so I don't have to bring absolutely tons of gear in. But I'll stop waffling and get myself organised and I'll see you in a bit. Don't know why I wouldn't. Right, so Rooney's just down on his little area down there. He's just going to be uh, practicing setting up a new setup down there. So I'm going to let him do his own little thing. And because the drizzle started, I've, what I've done is I've just set up a little small top configuration with 
me a little, um, oh, what's it called again? It's one by three and it's a Terra Nova one top. So just a quick setup in any way, a couple of wooden stakes at the back. Didn't want to bring his along for it because I didn't know what I was doing at the time. And anyway, that's me sorting case the heavens open because it's looking a bit, a bit doom and gloom. So, next job, get this cabinet off. So it's done its purpose, it's, it's hid the shelter away. And it'll be getting deployed back onto it again at any rate. But as you can see, everything is saturated like, because it's been pouring down for weeks. But it's all soaking, and the whole idea is get this top up the day, and uh, everything will start drying out and hopefully process some wood get it all put away because I've got this big log here to cut up into bits and all that I've got that tree needs it's already been felled because it was leaning over at any rate but we'll see if we can get that down the day and get that chopped into sections and let that dry off as well and same with that one that's on the floor there so that's my plan of action for the day even though it's already half ten Oh, gonna get cracking. We'll see what this video turns out like, eh? Right then, so there we have the roof ready to go. Right, so what I've got is I went and bought myself a green top, it's three meters by four meters, and we're gonna put it onto this shelter here. See how it goes. And get it tied on. Oh. Tell you what, I'll bring this back when I get it sorted. Right then, so we put the top on, we put it so it went four meters from top to bottom, and then the three meters going along, and it fitted perfect all the way at the floor, all the way to the top edge of my shelter where I've got the overhang, and it had plenty of overhang here. But then when we looked at it, we thought using the back end as a storage area, um, it's going to be difficult to get in and out of it. So I think what we've decided to do is I'm going to put it so it's 3 metres from top to bottom that'll go right to the floor and cover all the back and that'll stop all the wind getting through and then all I'll do is I'll just get loads of this pine needles and all that from the ground hide that up against the bottom of it all these posts will be cut off then I've got posts on here still needs to be cut off and that'll get that nice and flat all right but before i tie anything off i'll tie it all off to the front end first so it's got a nice overhang and then what we're going to do is all the spillage uh, over leftover material on the roof i'm going to bring it down so it comes like that i'm going to use this area here as a storage area for all the cut offs and all the wood and everything so i think that's the best plan because the wind comes from the rear of the shelter so I don't want any, see if I've got it all the way down to the bottom I'm going to have air holes coming up over so I don't want that so that's what we're going to do alright so let's, let's see how, how we play it feel. Right, so that's the back part done. But it's not perfectly level like. So I think I need to cut 
these bits off as well on the edge here. All right, so I'll get them done, and then I'll bring you back. Right then, so that's all them cut. I've left the bottom base on the end there. So what I'm going to do is, firstly, pull that down. Okay. Right, so obviously I've still got to put this bit off, alright, and then what I'm going to do is pull all the front end back up over until it's to the edges up here and before I start covering the bottom end properly. Alright, so I need to tie these off, they're the best I can. Alright. Right then, so what I've done now is, I've tied the front end off, I'll take it around in a bit and I've just tied off these side bits, okay, so they come down about a good foot and I've just tied them from the loops onto the post here and then the same onto that one going back over, so that's keeping that nice and taut, alright Now the back end, obviously I've cut all the posts off and that touches the ground there, perfect, alright so what I'm going to do is I'll probably put some stakes in and then tie them off there. Possibly just fold it in. Because what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get absolutely tons of this stuff and I'm just going to build it up against the back and up against the sides as well. Except for this side. Now what my plan is for this side is I'll just quickly show you the front end. And what I've done is I've started off at this corner Okay, and tied that off onto there. Hopefully that doesn't catch loads of rain and then it runs in. But if it does, it's just going to run to the outer side of the shelter at any rate. But I can easily solve that if it does. All right. The end hasn't come right over the edges of all the all the posts, which I'm not really fussed about to be quite honest. It's an overhang. That's my main area where I'm going to be sitting. As you can see. It's all nicely closed off at the back now because it's dropped right down instead of going out over to the floor. So now we've got this bit here, okay, and what we're going to do is, I'm going to, see all that room there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a post, stick a post in, and then put this over the top of it, the corner, and tie it off. And then that there is going to be a nice storage area. The bottom end here. It'll just get pulled out as well and have an overhang at the back to stop the rain forcing its way in all right so it'll go lower at this end higher at our end and then that'll be plenty storage area wind will still get through to uh, dry off the wood at the bottom here okay so that's happy days as you can see we've still got loads of gaps on the wall there and like i say i'm gonna I'm not really bothered about the effects on the outside. Um, I just want it cammed up. So, like I say, there's loads of pine needles. I'm just going to keep getting shit up. It's not so a nice wall there. Absolutely loads of them and just build them up all the way. Plus, I'll um, put some moss on the inner side as well anyway to fill some of them gaps up. And this place should start drying out nicely now. Okay. But when I cut the wood off the back slats, Okay, inside that wood it was absolutely bone dry. So it's just the outer section that's a bit wet. Obviously this one here is going to be a bit more rotten because I forgot to take all the bark off it. So, but it's done now. Okay, so that's the next stage done. So I just need to get myself some posts. Like I say, I'll think about that actually. I might do that. But that would be like a nice storage area in there instead of having to put everything inside the actual shelter. But yeah, happy days, happy days. Right, so what I've started doing, I started securing the back end down. Uh, sorry, I keep forgetting to bring this back. But what I've basically done is got some of the cut offs, put them along, you can see them on the floor there. So I've got two there, and I've got one big fat one up there. 
um, and then all I've done is push it up against the side and then wedged it down with absolutely tons of this stuff and it compacts down really nice and tight so what I plan to do in any rate is to build it up all the way along the back here in any rate and it'll uh, give some insulation all right so it'll probably come out like this by the time it's all filled up and then my cam nets what I'll do is I'll put some of the cam net on the top okay and what that'll do is it'll cause like a well it's, it's a net in this so it'll catch all the stuff when I start piling that on as well and that'll insulate the top end as well and then once I've got a good layer of that on then I'll start going down the bottom obviously not today but it'll take a time over the next few weeks when I'm coming up uh, get some moss from down the bottom and then pay some moss on the top as well and that'll just give it that little bit more natural look rather than seeing this green top because this top will shine and it'll stand out for miles okay so i'm going to do that all the way along the back um today try and work out what i'm going to do with this um i don't i don't know if it's going to be getting done the way i've said like um to be quite honest it make it make a good storage area but i think i need to make some sort of frame to put in first and then put this over the top of it just to give it some structure because uh, just pulling it out like this and then pegging it into the ground is not going to be good enough so i'll leave that for now because i need to think about that bit but other than that happy days like happy days so what time we got now now you think we're a cup of tea it's 10 to 12 already so right then so what we've done now is secured this post here it's dug into the ground so it's not going anywhere and i can always pin it and swell if i want to but what i've done is i've chiseled away at this bit and then cut a little groove on the top and tied this in so that's going nowhere okay and then what happens is this top comes over there like so all right and then all i'm going to do is i'm just going to tie it off knock the stake up pin it in there and the same at the bottom there there'll be a slight little gap going under because one a bit of air pushing through in any weight okay then we're going to do the same scenario on this side here okay and that'll keep that'll keep it up i might even put one in the center as well all right just so we've got like three three poles keeping it up so if I put another one in the centre, that'll bring it to here. Oh, your camera's too close to it in any way. But I, I think you get the gist. So it'll be like a lean-to on side of the shelter. And that's where we'll be to store all our gear. Right, I don't know if you can pick it up on the on the camera light, but it's, it's getting a little bit misty in here. So, but it's not cool. Oh. Well, as you can see, Rooney's been playing around with his uh, 3.5 by 3.5 DD camo top, trying to make out some sort of uh, shelter, but he's also had like a net, uh, mosquito net type shelter inside of there as well. But he's took it down before I come over with the camera because he's sly. <laughs> but that's absolutely tons of room you'll fit a family of, family of refugees in there, like, wouldn't you? Family of Boris's. Are you having a can like Rooney? Well, you know, you've got to be prepared. All right, I've yeah. brought some like, but I'm, I'm, I'm stashing them way down in the woods there. For me next, for me next camp, man. Like, but aye, that's a canny little setup, mate. Loads of room. Let's see if I can button down. I just lifted the front up. So aye. Can, that's it. Big, too big, it's brilliant with your hammock because you get everything in it with sort of flow. Yeah, you only use this for me hammock. Uh -huh. But, uh, <laughs> sea's a bit rough. <laughs> Always the joker, isn't he? Yeah, uh, <laughs> on a serious note, what we've got for dinner? Well, I've got noodles, pepperoni. And a cup of soup because mm. I was going to have a massive Chinese when I get home, but apparently, Wallace has said making us a sandwich and a bowl of soup when I get in. Uh, 
So I'll, I'll go to a McDonald's or something before I get to home. Actually, I better not record this in case she watches it. <laughs> right then, so anyway, stop for some dinner now. So for dinner today, I've only bought a snack. So I've got some curry noodles with a couple of pepperonis. And I've got a tomato um, cup of soup in here, which I'm going to drink first while this is cooking. Water's nearly boiled now, like. Um, and then I've got a couple of other little, like, uh, snacks, like nuts and things and that to eat if I need them. But I very much doubt it. Um, so what time we've got now? It's now 20 to 1 in the afternoon. So, a few more hours uh, of graft after this. And then start the long, dubious walk and drive home. So, pity I couldn't get out. Um, I could have been here last night. But my wife decided to tell us that I could go camping at about half four, five o'clock. So by the time I would have got my kit sorted, it would have been about six o'clock. By the time I got up here, it would have been after seven. And by the time I got to camp, it would have been nearly nine o'clock at night. Um, so basically I would have been coming, getting set up, trying to get a fire on. By the time it would have been time to go to bed in any rate. But I suppose the good thing about it is I could have been here mega, mega early. But... It is what it is, isn't it? So well, hopefully I'll be out next week or the week after for definite. Um, come up and try and get one or two. It's best if coming up for two nights, yeah, because it's such a such a distance. Um, and get more stuff done. But anyway, I'm feeling myself going into waffle mode. I'm going to have some scran and that. I'll not bore you with showing you how to cook noodles and chomp on some pepperoni. And drink a cup of soup so I'll just bring this back when I've had that and I'm back onto the shelter all right right then so dinner breaks over and being back to work so basically what I've done is I've cut two poles one at the front and one at the back okay tied them off and then what happens is the leftover bit of material comes over a bit like a, a door that'll stop all the rain going in over that way all right and then down here all i've got is a little slip knot with a stick in it i see a slip knot with a stick in it they try to do it with one hand and it just won't come off all right and open it up it's tied onto there and anyway and then we've got all this area in here to stack all the wood and whatever else we'll want to put in there and uh, if anybody likes sleeping on rocks they can sleep in there as well <laughs> but obviously I wanted a bit of airflow getting in okay so it's open at the bottom on the on the back and at the front end here and at the doorway part so that's that done so next thing Rooney's got a little a little fire gram we're not having a massive fire Got a little fire going in the tin there just to keep warm starting to get cold now like so my next next job for me to do is i need to get all my three bits of cam net and put it over the roof yeah secure that on and then coming around to the back end as you can see where i've started it yeah and that's going to keep the back pulled down and what we need to do now is we need to get rid of this shine yeah that's the main thing we need to get rid of so we'll use them bits of cam net to get rid of as much as we can once the net's all secured on the top it'll just drape down and then i'll just start throwing loads of foliage over the top of it as well and the net's there really to give it a little bit of a camouflage but also to keep a grip of everything that gets put on otherwise it'll just like keep sliding off all the time and i'll just keep adding and adding and what that's going to do is it's not only going to camouflage it up, but it's going to insulate it as well. Okay, I've got some more cam net at home to bring up on my next journey. If my cam net doesn't fit this bit, and that'll just get draped over with cam net there. And that'll be happy days like. So, let's get the cam net done. As times, times are ticking, it's now two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, so happy days like, happy days. Right then, so the cam net's fitted nicely. The three bits I had, uh, there's a couple of little bits that's not covered light, but that's now 
I'll get covered when I start painting loads of stuff on now, or the bottom part and all that. So, but it just helps break break up the shine a little bit, and then it comes covers all the um the um storage area part as well, which is happy days like. But I've even got it attached to the door part, so when you lift the door, the cam net comes with it as well. So that's even better. There you go. So obviously that wall there, I'll need to bung up a little bit with um, bits and pieces to get it all sealed. But these things can start drying out inside a bit now. So yeah, I'm well happy with this. Like I might cut that branch off there though. Um, because I'm not sure, but I'll leave it for now just in case. So, but yeah, things are going well. Rooney's making a, um, a new tripod for the fire because the other one we've got's a bit little, so he's made a new one of them. And I'm going to start just trying to scrape up as much of this stuff off the floor as possible and just start sprinkling it all over the, the, um, the shelter. Just to give it that extra bit of calm, and if I keep on adding it and adding it and adding it, it'll keep building up. And then what it'll do with it is it'll give it a nice, um, what do you call it? It'll seal it better as well, and it'll retain the heat. Oh, yeah, happy with that now. Well, happy. I wish I had got a camouflage top though, but. I couldn't find any for the size I needed, but never mind. It'll be canned up in a minute when I bring his back. Right, well, I must apologise. Um, getting a little bit carried away with the working and, and forgetting to bring you along uh, on each segment. So anyway, let's have a look and see what we've got. So there's the shelter there. So we have got loads of bits of foliage on the on the part that's going to be where the uh, the wood storage is i'm just starting to do the back part now so what i'm doing is put loads of old branches across the back and then i'll just start hiding loads of stuff on top of them all right uh, as you can see the back is looking a lot better i was digging up around here and there's loads of lovely little bits of rock so i've got some nice big flat bits there so i've just put them along the side all right, uh, I'll use the rest of these and just fill in the little gaps at the bottom. Now I've just got the gaps at the top to worry about. That bit of green's a bit of an issue, like. So I might see if I can go and get some moss and just stick some moss in the cam net all the way down there, just to uh, blend it in a little bit. But what I'll probably be doing anyway next time I'm up is bring a, a spare top and just go and get a lot of this foliage and just keep building the ends up in any way because that's what I really want to be quite honest but yeah it's looking good Rooney's busy sorting out the fire area making a decent sized tripod because the other one's a bit small oh happy days like oh happy days happy days so time for a, um, another drink break I think because I'm getting a bit thirsty but this is what it looks like from the other side on the inside part so it's now looking nice and dark in there so oh, that's exactly what you want you don't want it too bright on the tops because it'll just do your napper in so oh, happy days i'll lay down the bed again just to test it and it was nice nice and comfy but as you can see i don't know if you can see on this camera but there's some there's still gaps there like so they need to be filled this side I'm not really bothered about anymore because we've got this little bit of a lean-to on the side all right so and I think what I might do I might get myself another top and have it going across the ridge line at the top and then when I'm in there on the night time it'll come down and cover the window and the doorway so I'm nice and sealed in so I'll get a measurement of that before I go home so, time for a drink at any rate. 
Right then, so that's me and Rooney packing up now, getting ready to go home. It's now quarter four in the afternoon. So quite happy with the way the shelter's gone. So looking looking like it's ready to move into now. So that's where I'll be sleeping on my next visit. So happy days, like happy days. Got a few bits and pieces to pick up around the area. We've got some more wood prepped. Got a lot of wood inside of the uh, the lean to as well. Oh, happy days like fire pits sort of sorted. Uh, the tripod's working better. So we've just got to pack up, hike out about an hour and a half, two hours to the car, and then uh, an hour's drive home. So thanks for watching everybody. If you are enjoying these videos, let us know with a nice comment. Okay, give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel. All right. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please hit that uh, subscribe button and the bell notification. And uh, to everybody that's just joined my channel lately, welcome. And uh, I hope you enjoy what you see. All right. See you on the next one. Cheers.